Guys, Auto Fanatics. So today's detailing video is all about stubby nozzles for your leaf blower to dry your car. There's been a lot of uh, hype on this lately, and there's a company called Apex Air that came out with a professional unit specifically for the Ego Blower. I'm going to be showing that in an upcoming video very soon when I receive mine, so stay tuned. So this video primarily is just, I want to do some initial testing. I've been using both of these for a little while right now, and I want to do some testing based on do the stubby nozzles really change the game as far as drying your car if you're an auto detailer like myself. So I want to just show you guys right here. Now I use my Ego Blower not just to dry the car, I use it for everything around the house. I blow off the garage every day, I do the driveway, I do the yard. So the Ego Blower is going to come with this long tube here and you're going to have various different attachments. Now this one here is kind of like the blade attachment and I have a blower band. These are highly, highly recommended. So check out blower band online and pick one of those up as well. So you can use it with that or you could use it with a round nozzle as well. And I, it seems to be uh, from using these uh, blowers for so many years, I've been using an Ego blower for about six, seven years now to dry the car. This does work well because it has a little bit more concentrated surface area. So when you're working large panels on the car, like the hoods, the roofs and the door, this seems to do a much better job on wheels, this does seem to do a little bit of a better job. So it's vice versa, but primarily I use the long tube with this attachment right here. Now, the issue that I have with Ego blowers uh, primarily is the weight of the batteries. But, you know, like I said, this battery here, this is their big one that comes with the blower. I believe this one here is the 5.0. This battery is 5 pounds. This is a 2.5. This is about 3 pounds. Now, if you're doing detailing for cars, this gets very fatiguing if you're doing one, two, three cars or even doing the roof of the car because you have to grab the blower when you're doing the roof. You have to put your hand here and here and control the blower back and forth to dry the roof of the car safely without hitting anything. So if you got an extra five pounds, you know, in this big extra battery on the back, it does get very fatiguing. Now, something I want to show you guys in the back, we have a Milwaukee M18. I've been testing that, and to be honest with you, that is not as effective with the stubby nozzle as it is with the longer factory nozzle. Now, so to my surprise, uh, we got two of these here. These are just 3D printed. We just bought these online just for some testing. Uh, they're not as professional as the one from Apex Air that's coming. Uh, like I said, this just slides right over the, uh, the housing. I'm trying to get it off here to show you guys. Okay, there you go. You got to squeeze it. So if you see it here, it's just a 3D printed part, nothing fancy. I think it was like 20 bucks or so I paid for this. And then I got the green blower band on there as well. So if you look at it here, a lot of guys have tried testing using the blowers just like this. But if you look here, you cannot put any of these attachments. They just don't work because you're going to have to go from this diameter and scale it down. And that's what Apex Air did. And that's what a lot of these 3D printed models, uh, you know, modelers are doing. So you just take the unit like this and you pop it on like that. Now from testing so far, you could audibly hear it and feel the power. It's like a, like a monsoon with this shorter nozzle. Now, I don't have any testing based on the CFMs, the efficiencies. Is it quicker to dry the car off or not? I don't really know. I just think primarily these stubby nozzles were designed to make it less cumbersome. So even though you have a shorter pathway of air, you're gonna have to get closer to the car. That may or may not be something you guys want to do, but that's just the way it's going to have to work because you can't stand in the same distance if you were using this standard tube because the air velocity is going to get totally lost, you know, between here and between the distance of your paint. So we're going to put that to the side. Uh, one little issue that you run into with these stubby nozzles on the Ego blower, especially the 3D printed ones, is this. Just put the big battery on and they tip over. It's not a huge deal, but just wanted to show it in the video as well. So with the smaller battery, they do not tip over and it's perfectly balanced. Now, I believe I was reading up some stuff on the Apex Air one that Obsessed Garage is selling and they specifically went with a special type of resin for the density and the weight to keep the balance of the machine so it doesn't tip over. So we're gonna push this to the side and we're gonna do a quick dry of my Alfa Romeo. The car was washed last night and we got a lot of pollen on it today. So this is a Milwaukee M18. The good thing about Milwaukee tools, if anybody's got the impact guns or any of those tools, you've got a, a, the versatility of the batteries. So here is an XC8.0, and now I got the high output 3.0. So this is super light. This is a lot heavier. This is going to give you a lot more runtime. Now, if you look here, this stubby is like really, really short. 
Um, efficiently, like this just doesn't have the oomph that the Ego has, but I tested it. We're not gonna do a video on this today because I don't think this is the ideal solution that I would use. It just takes a little bit too long. And I think you're probably gonna need two batteries, especially at this capacity to dry off a full car based on the lower output of this particular machine. So we're gonna get started right now. We're gonna rinse off the Alfa Romeo. We're gonna take some footage showing the stubby nozzle. Then I'm gonna give you my feedback if I feel these are a game changer or this is a worthwhile investment to switch over from the standard nozzle to a stubby nozzle if you guys are doing stuff just primarily on cars. If you're doing stuff around the house, I still think the longer nozzle based on the engineering from the manufacturer is probably gonna be best to do leaves. Uh, any gardening work, blowing out your garage, I just think it's gonna work a little bit better. So we're gonna get started in a couple of moments. All right guys, just to show you, this is the stubby nozzle to do a uh, quick dry of the wheels. So that proved highly effective. Now we're gonna show you the hood. And uh, like I said, I, I usually do the hoods like this. I hold the, the unit like this. So I'll tell you right now, it's a lot easier to handle with the stubby nozzle, but you're still also, I mean, I wouldn't one hand this device, uh, but definitely use a 2.5 battery and it just makes it a lot easier. Now you can audibly hear the difference in tone going with this shorter nozzle. Um, it definitely is changing the velocity. I don't have any data, scientific data to prove what it's doing, but it is very effective. So being that it's shorter, instead of being, instead of standing back here, okay, with it, back up. Instead of standing back here, now you're gonna have to get a little bit closer to get the efficiency. All right, so we're gonna go to the nose of the car where we get a lot of water trapped on this car with the active aerodynamic front splitter. So highly, highly effective. It actually cleared out the front uh, nose of my car a lot quicker with the stubby nozzle than with the longer nozzle with the blade attachment, FYI. So I'm gonna talk to you guys about it. I'll conclude a video in a couple of moments, but I definitely think this is definitely something to consider if you guys are blow drying your car with an Ego blower or any other blower. You can get these stubby nozzles anywhere on the net, but the Ego blower is the king of drying the car just based on the power and everything about this brushless motor system. So stay tuned, let's wrap up. I'm gonna finish drying the car and we'll conclude the rest of this video. All right guys, so we're at the conclusion of the video. What do I think of the stubby nozzles? I think on the Ego Blower, they work fantastic. I think for auto detailing, it's an absolute no-brainer. And I think it's so effective, and that's the reason why, you know, Obsessed Garage and companies like Apex Air, and even these companies that 3D print these, uh, there's definitely a market for these, because I think so many people could get these uh, Ego Blowers over at Lowe's. Lowe's.com, you get them on Amazon, but pretty much anybody's got a Lowe's. And uh, from what I noticed, and you guys saw in the video, it's easier to hold it here without having that longer extension so you don't bump into the car, but also the blower band. This is a no-brainer as well by having this here. Uh, just in case you have a car with stripes or you get too close to something, you could actually cause damage with the tip of the blower. But overall, I think it's a home run. These 3D printed nozzles were just purchased for testing. Uh, I absolutely love them. I cannot wait to get the production version of the Apex Air 40 Ego blower. And I also highly suggest, uh, this is the bigger battery, but I highly suggest the smaller batteries uh, on the Ego Blower, and if you could buy just a tool only, maybe look into getting just by two 2.5 batteries. It's just gonna be a lot easier to use and to move around, keep the wall charger uh, plugged in all the time, and just rotate between whatever cars you're detailing. So once again, thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to the Auto Fanatic YouTube channel and also head over to the Auto Fanatic website today. Support Auto Fanatic as a brand and all the new upcoming products and services that we offer. Stay tuned to the channel. There'll be more videos coming soon. Thanks, guys.